welcome to another Create a Sim video. I think these are going to kind of be a regular thing, it seems like. I was actually supposed to have another episode of the Royal Family out today, but I went to go, I recorded it yesterday and then I went to go edit it and I realized my microphone was on view, which was not fun. So I'm going to have to re-record that today, but it just takes so much longer to edit those, so I know that won't be out for another few days. So I figured I would do this video and we're gonna give a makeover to all the, well, not all the Windenburg royal family, but most of the Windenburg, Windenburg royal family and I'll explain it all in the video as well. But I just wanted to get a video out today, so I decided to do this. As you can see, I do have a different setup. I will explain that probably in the video or in the next episode of the royal family but I do want to get into this video because I do actually have to leave pretty soon and I still have to record another episode of the royal family so if you're excited for this video go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already and let's go ahead and begin okay so as I mentioned this is not the entire royal family of Windenburg this is just the this is just King Henry and Princess Amira Princess May and like kind of Prince Yoha oh not oh my Oh my gosh, not Prince Johan, Prince Kellen, um, because I was, I already have the toddlers, they've already kind of gotten their makeover from when they had just aged up to, to toddlers and were wearing these like ridiculous outfits. So that was an extra bonus video for my patrons on Patreon. And then you guys already saw Queen Evangeline's makeover. So that one we like, I posted up about it like a month, no, not a month ago, a few weeks ago. Um, so that's why we're not going to do hers because she doesn't really need a makeover. So I did play a lot with the outfits here. There were a lot, and I've gotten many outfits, especially since King Henry became king. Um, and I, I never knew, like this outfit right here, I never knew that existed. And that's part of the Get Famous pack. I have no idea how I didn't know that, but I have a very similar outfit in my custom contents. And I like, I saw that and I was like, oh my God, it's so pretty, but it doesn't come in like purple or pink. So I didn't give it to Henry because like that's their royal family colors. It's so limiting. Like I have so many great royal outfits but he can't wear a lot of them because they don't come in pink or purple and I just really want him to represent and to wear those colors so I was so sad when I found that out but I like played a lot with a few things because I got so much new custom content I am working on a custom content video with links for you guys and I know you guys will be super excited about that so I won't just direct you to my Pinterest board I will put all the links in the description of that video so I'm working on that that is scheduled for Monday I, I'm hoping that I can get it to you guys by Monday I did post my schedule for this week it's on my Twitter at Mira Ray underscore so you guys can take a look at that schedule I'm doing a variety of videos this week so I have like this one then a royal family episode I'm actually going to do an episode of my sim self legacy le le legacy challenge again so I'm actually really excited to do that I haven't done that in a while but I was like oh my god Jake and I our sims were supposed to have another baby like how am I not playing that and I also like you well you guys will see the video but I'm really excited about it I'm really excited to continue it I know it's like not as popular but I hope you guys will get into it and if you have any suggestions for that video like to make it progress and to be more interested in it you guys can leave that in the comments below when I post that video so yeah so also explaining my new backdrop uh, or my new my new uh, what is it called what is this called my new room my new setup I am now in my bedroom before I was in our living room so in the next video of the royal family I will kind of like actually show it to you guys but just because I like saw this desk on Amazon Prime on like Prime Day and I was like oh my gosh I need that desk and Jake was like well where are we gonna put it and I was like well there's like an empty corner in our bedroom that we could put it in so that's what ended up happening but I will show that to you guys in the next episode of the royal family so this is Princess Amira I spent a lot of time on her I was playing around with a bunch of her hair I ended up changing her hairstyle and I just wanted her to like just I don't know just like mature look different she's had that hairstyle since she was a toddler and like that makes it very signature for her and I think for like her cold weather outfit or something she still had that hairstyle but I ended up going with this one I thought it was very beautiful and elegant it kind of has like a fishtail braid in the back which I wasn't sure like fit properly but the front of it looked so good that I just didn't care I was like you know what this looks amazing I'm totally fine with this also guys she looks exactly like her mother Alice like so so much in the face and then May and Kellen they look exactly like their father so it's just so cool to see like how that turned out especially because she has blonde hair but her father has blonde hair but she looks like her mother 
And then Kellen and May have brown hair like their mother, but their faces look like their father. So I just thought that was really, really interesting and really cool. For her outfits, especially for the everyday, I ended up going with stuff that was like longer and not like the short dresses she had. Although the one she was wearing before was really cute and like still mature. I just wanted like a change. I wanted all of them to look more mature. When you saw in the beginning of the video too, I added facial hair to King Henry and I changed his hairstyle. Cause I was like, you know what? He's like getting older. Like I feel like he should have more facial hair cause he kind of still looks like a young adult. So I thought that was more fitting for him. So basically the goal was to kind of just make everyone look a little bit more mature, a little bit older. You guys are seeing like so much custom content in this video too. And I'm so excited to show that to you in my new custom content video that I'm working on. That was like another thing that I had filmed yesterday. Not the whole thing. Oh my gosh, not the whole thing. I had only filmed like half of it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go take a dinner break. And I ended up just getting really tired. It was like, I'll film the rest later. And then when I looked back at it later, I was like, oh my gosh, there's no sound. And then I was like, well, thank goodness I took a dinner break because that would have sucked to have filmed that entire thing and not have any sound because that video is going to take a long time to film. I just have so much custom content. I think I'm going to focus more on like just the outfits, not so much for the hair for that video for you guys. And then I am showing you guys like all female, male, young adults, toddlers and kids and all that stuff in that video. Or I, I think so. I don't know. I guess we'll see on time. So I am just so excited to show that to you, but maybe it'll be like a, like a part one, part two of custom content, but I will work on that. I'm just so excited to show that to you guys. That was like a suggestion from someone, from one of our viewers and you guys suggest great videos because you guys asked me to do the how to make your own royal family video and that got so many views. So I'm super, super thankful for that. So when you guys have other like ideas and suggestions you want me to do, feel free to put that in the comments below. I will definitely try to do them, especially if it's like stuff from you guys that you actually want, then that's even greater because other people probably want it too. So that's really, really nice. I also had someone say, I think yesterday or today, I had someone comment that they want me to do a live stream for, I don't know if they said for the hundredth episode, but they want me to do a live stream. And I, I have no idea anything about live streams, like how to do them or like how it works or like if I can still, I think I, I, I don't even know if I can still do my face cam in them. So that's another thing. I guess I don't have to, but it would be more fun. So I think I'd have to get like a setup. Like I'd have to get my camera to hook up or something to my computer. I don't know. I'll look into it and do some research. But I think that would be a lot of fun. You guys would get to see like, oh, whoops, just bought my microphone. Um, you guys would get to see like my unedited version of me, which is like, like basically these cast videos are unedited because I just like talk through them and I don't really have time to like edit through them, but I kind of do like sometimes a little bit, but I don't know. You guys are probably just gonna see a lot of like my dog barking and like jumping on me because bubbles get super clingy sometimes. So I usually edit that parts out of my video, but you guys might see that if I do a live stream but I think it'll still be fun. Also on live streams, can I like see you guys, like can't you comment like during it? So that'd be really cool to like actually see you guys talking to me as I'm doing the live stream. I think that would actually be really, really great. So they wanted me to do the live stream as I was like remodeling like the Windenburg Palace. I don't really think the Windenburg Palace needs much remodeling though, besides like the nursery. So it might be the Sulani Royal Palace because I haven't finished decorating that one yet. Or it could just be like a Let's Play, but like a live Let's Play. That would be a lot of fun too. So you guys would have like a lot of control if it was a let's play and be like no like they shouldn't do that like they should do this so it would just be really interesting um so back to the sims that are in this video so princess may i kept her pantsuit because it was really great and gorgeous and i thought it was still very much her and i still thought it was very mature so i did and i did i i don't think i ended up keeping this but i thought it was really nice but i don't know it just the cut of it is a little weird. Like the the skirt, the train part of it was just so stiff. So I'm not a I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think I'm probably going to get rid of a, like a lot of my custom content and then just add some new ones because there's a lot on here that I'm like I'm not really going to use this and I probably should clear out my custom content folder. So we'll see. I'm pretty sure it's like three gig and three gigabytes now. But I know some people who have like. 50 gigabytes in their custom content folder, which is insane to me. Like I thought I have a lot of custom content. I cannot imagine having 50 gigabytes of custom content. I guess that that's probably like custom content and mods, but I, I don't know. I also saw that there's this one simmer who could do like overlays on her videos and they can like, like up the contrast or the saturation, like of the color to just make your game, like look prettier as you're playing, which would be nice because I end up doing that in post editing 
editing, I like up the color and the contrast of my videos. So it would just be nice to like already have that when you're playing. So that would actually be really cool. So I might look into getting that. I might look into getting some other mods too. There's like a ton of stuff I probably do want to get, but I just like, I love custom content shopping and mod shopping so much. I do it at work like all the time. So it's just a lot of fun. It's like real life shopping almost. So it's just really cool. And, and it's free. So that's even like the best part of it. So I ended up going for Princess May, like her outer where I changed that. I wasn't sure if uh, Queen Ava had that too. I'll have to double check. I think she had something else. For Prince Kellen, I didn't even end up like doing that much. I changed his party outfit, thank goodness, because I was like, I have to do this. Like it, he was wearing like a leather jacket and like jeans and it was weird. And I don't remember ever picking that for him, but I did pick a party outfit for him. I gave him a crown because I realized he didn't have one. I thought he had one, but I guess he didn't. So I ended up going with this one. It's not my favorite. But the other prince crowns were already taken by the princess of Willow Creek, so I didn't want to give them the same crown. I don't know. They need more variety, I feel like. I try, I like almost gave them a sash, but I didn't actually end up doing that. And I'll, I'll show you guys that in the custom content video too, because that's a new thing. Okay, so the video's over, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sorry I kind of went on a few different rants in this. I like try to talk about the video as much as I can, but I also just try to talk about like other stuff going on in the series too. But let me know in the comments below what you thought of their outfits. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!